Hey everyone, this is Brian, and welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Today I'm going to be talking about a decorative end cap for a 4x4 post that I'll be using on a project that I'll be posting soon. So saddle up, and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a rough outline of what I would like the end cap of this post to look like. This end cap will have a pyramidal top with a little notch cut out in the middle. Next up, I'll grab my delve square just to tidy up these lines just a tad. Precision is not what I'm looking for at this point. I'm just making sure that all the lines intersect and create a 90 degree angle. Once I have a rough outline of my design, I'll place X's and scribble out the areas I would like to take off. Over at the table saw, I'll raise my blade as high as it goes. Once it's fully raised, I'll zero out my angle finder and tilt the blade until it becomes as close as I can to 45 degrees. That looks good to me. Next, I'll lower the blade so that I can fit my crosscut sled over the top of the blade. Once I have my piece on the crosscut sled, I'll try to line up the angles as close as I can to the 45 degree angle of the crosscut sled. Next, I'll place my stop block at the end of the piece so that I can make this cut repeatedly. For this post, I'll be making a cut, rotating it 90 degrees, making another cut, and repeating the process two more times. My first cut will be a rather shallow cut just to make sure that I have the angles lined up. Now I'll raise the blade a bit just to see where it ends up. I need to raise the blade just a tad more and I'll make my final cut. Now that I'm comfortable with the depth of the cut, I will rotate the post 90 degrees and make my second cut. Once I've made my second cut, I will repeat this process two more times until I have gone across all four sides of the post. While I was preparing to make my third cut, I noticed it wasn't sitting flush to the stop block. That's when I noticed this staple in the end of the board. Once I had the staple removed, it was now time to continue with the cutting process. With the fourth and final cut complete, it's now time to flip the board over to create the other angle cuts that will intersect with the four cuts we had already made. To ensure proper alignment, I use my delve square just to double check the angle. Next, I'll replace my stop block and get ready to make the first cut. You'll notice as I make some of these cuts, some of the pieces will fall out by themselves. As each cut progresses, you begin to see the form take shape. Here is a close-up view of what we've done so far. You can see there's a little ribbon in the middle that I was initially going to clean up, but I actually like the way it looks. So now that we have the interior cuts done, it's time to work on the top of the board. Having my stop block in place, we'll make these cuts in the same way we've made the interior cuts. Each cut is made and then the board is rotated 90 degrees. Once all four cuts are made, you can see it makes this interesting design around the top. With the angle cuts made, it's now time to chop the top off the board, so we set our table to 90 degrees. We then align the top of the board so that the cut will go through all of our intersecting lines. To make sure our piece will not bind up between the blade and the fence, I'm putting a mag stop at the beginning of the cut. Next, I'll grab the miter gauge and place the piece so it butts up against the mag switch. Next comes the satisfying part of chopping off the top of the post, exposing all the angles. Now we can take a look at the end product. As you can see, it's got a nice pyramid top with the center cut out at those nice angles. Well, thanks for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned as I'll be using this process in an upcoming project. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.